Hello, my name is Joshua Herman. I'm going to teach you how to use Hugging Face within 15 minutes. The original goal that I had with a previous video that I made about making a virtual assistant used TensorFlow 1.x. The problem with using TensorFlow 1.x is the fact that Python 3.8 is the only thing that is implemented correctly where it's the supported version. So the primary goal of this is to get rid of that 1.x issue because then I can't run TensorFlow with other systems. GPT-2 Simple has a fundamental limitation that it only works with TensorFlow 1.x, while Transformers here is compatible with PyTorch and uh, TensorFlow 2.x. But I also needed to justify the even doing of this because it actually allows me to basically create a pipeline that can make my code a lot cleaner. It would reduce the cycl cyclotomic complexity of the language I mean, the implementation or so forth. Um, basically, instead of having conditionals, I really want to go into like encapsulated functions and take all the conditionals and put them into uh, a data pipeline. But first, we probably want to know what a data pipeline is. You can think of a data pipeline as um, a series of tubes, like the internet, where Basically, you define each section of tubes and you go from like ingestion to text and then text to a, a machine learning model or, and, or a system. In fact, technically, machine learning models are actually represented inside as a graph. In fact, a lot of machine learning models are sort of thick where they start from a little piece and then go large in the middle and then go back to the output. Um, right now, Transformers with Hugging Face is a very good way to do what I want because it gets rid of the dependencies and it gives me more features. And this is the new feature that I'm going to be showing you now. I'll start it and we can read it while it's loading. So obviously I have to install transformers, which takes a little bit. The future import print function, not sure if I needed that, but it doesn't really matter. The main two things are from transformers import pipeline and IPy widgets. IPy widgets are sort of neat that you can actually add widgets that you can type into in Jupyter Notebooks. Right now I'm using Colab Pro, which is a nine, ten dollar a month service offered by Google. And I use Colab Pro as sort of like my prototyping layer where it's like nine dollars a month to train or to use it. You get access to a V100 nearly every time I've used it until you run out of credits. Now, the text I'm giving this summarize is sort of neat, and I have a cool story 